Hello. My name is Paris the Connoisseur. This is back to my YouTube channel once again. And basically this time, I think I'll be doing a bougie on a budget or a baddie on a budget haul. And I'll be talking about products or things that I've brought from AliExpress. And yes, I do know that a lot of you all don't like AliExpress because you think everything is a scam. But I do want you all to know that if you buy something on AliExpress and it doesn't come how it's supposed to come and or, you know, it just doesn't come at all, you can either begin a dispute and get the seller to send you your money back or if you have enough evidence, the company AliExpress will send you your money back. Also, if that if all else fails, you can literally just contact your bank to get your money back. Okay. So, yeah, that's been said. And moving on, I also wanted to say this. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That was nasty. Um, yeah, so moving on, I wanted to say this. If you all do not like replica or fake videos about fake things, don't. Just leave the video. You can leave. This ain't for you. You're not going to enjoy it. And I don't want to hear in the comment, oh, she wear fake stuff, oh, she wears fake stuff. I don't care. I don't. I don't. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is this bag that I brought from AliExpress. It's supposed to be like a Chanel boy bag, right? It came in this dust bag that says Chanel Paris and it has the symbol on it. But before I actually talk about the bag, like, you know, how the quality and things like that, I want to talk about the process getting the bag. So basically, I ordered a bag and I think saying. I was ordering the bag. I think I paid about $35 for it. I'm about to check right now. And so I ordered it and it was fine. You know, they were like, I guess I honestly just didn't pay much attention to it. So I thought that when they gave me a shipping number or a tracking number, yeah, I paid $35 for the bag. We can see here. Let it focus. Oh, God, it's backwards. Well, yeah, sorry, my bad. It's $35 and okay so yeah so it was fine everything you know little tracking number blah 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 it's supposed to be on its way whatever so then I guess a few weeks down the line or a month down the line I decided to look and I'm like okay so where's the bag and well actually no I think it was like I'm sorry I'm skipping a piece okay so like a week down the line I'm looking and I'm like okay let me go check on the tracking information let me see where my bag is at right so I go to look and when I click like I didn't click directly on my order because in AliExpress you know you can click on your order and then you can just click on a picture of the bag to go to the thing so I clicked on the picture of the bag and it's saying oh this product doesn't exist anymore right and then I'm like oh oh my god like I hope they're not trying to like you know steal my money take my money whatever right so then I'm just like what this is whatever so I contact the seller and they're like, oh, don't worry about it. I already put your stuff in the mail, blah, blah, blah. Fine, right? So, actually, did, yeah, it was just, no. So, then, like, I waited some more time. And then the stuff was still saying it doesn't exist. And I was like, okay, maybe I should, like, contact AliExpress or whatever. And they was like, oh, you have to wait till a certain number of days has passed or until whatever has expired for you to say, you know, you haven't re received your bag. And so I called, I called my bank and my card and I was like, oh, they said they were supposed to send me a bag. They didn't send me a bag. This tracking number, once I press it, because this also happened too, when I tried to press the tracking number and put it in, it wasn't showing up. It said something like, oh, this number does not exist or this number is invalid, right? So then I did that and, and I screenshotted that and the, um, the fact that it was saying the bag doesn't exist anymore and I was telling the bank. And then they were like, okay, so you can, we can start a dispute. And then I was like, fine. So we started a dispute or whatever. And then like, they were like, we're going to do a dispute and investigate. And then a few days later, the, sell the seller, like after they started the investigation, the seller sent me a tracking number. And I was like, oh, dang, now I got to cancel because they actually sending me and I don't want to try to take my money back. And if I end up with the bag, I'm still feel bad or whatever. Right. So I, I ended the dispute with my bank. Right. So then I have their little tracking number. It's working. And so, yeah, I was like, 
so I had canceled the dispute and then I noticed like either the tracking information wasn't updating or it just wasn't saying that it moved anywhere as time went on and I'm like okay it's about to be past the time it is for me to supposed to be got my bag or whatever because you know it sends you a date by which like into it's eight to thirty days between when you ordered or when your order supposedly have shipped that you're supposed to receive your bag. That's what AliExpress does, right? So then, I like I call like I realized because I had tried to talk to the seller and when I tried to contact them, it says this store doesn't exist anymore and like all the other things that they were selling was just gone. Everything they were selling was gone. They were saying my bag doesn't exist anymore. It was almost as if it was saying my order doesn't exist anymore or it never happened right so excuse me so i tried to call my bank again and this was like half half a month later or something like that and when i tried to call my bank again i was like oh i had ended the dispute but because i thought they had gave me you know true information that my bag was indeed on the way but nothing saying it is what it is anymore you know whatever can I reopen the dispute and they were like nope you only got 11 days after you ended the dispute to reopen the dispute so you can't get your money back and I was just like oh my god are they serious so you know what I just hung up and I left it is what it is and I was figured okay so I should start a dispute with AliExpress and then I think I either tried to start a dispute or I told the seller I was gonna start a dispute in the messages and then that's when the next day magically my bag came in the mail after about two months and all this bull crap about my bag don't exist the store don't exist whatever don't exist and yes this is exactly why people have problem buying on aliexpress because things like this and sellers like this and it makes it seem like they're just trying to scam you but i also know that if some sellers on aliexpress get caught selling replica bags or whatever it is they can get their store shut down which you know yeah, but I feel like as you being AliExpress, the whole company, if you're going to shut them down for selling fictitious items, you at least owe something to the seller to let them know or explain what's going on that, you know, they're not trying to scam you or whatever it may be.